Hello, everybody. Um, as you might guess from my shirt, uh, we'll be doing a little nomenclature practice today. I don't know if you can read the whole thing here, things I learned in organic chemistry. Uh, clever pie chart. Let's look at some nomenclature, shall we? Here we go. It's the last thing we learned how to name, it's alcohols. And uh, we didn't get a lot of practice because it's the last thing. So that doesn't mean it's the unimportant thing. So let's get busy. Draw isooctanol. This is one way of naming alcohols. It's the uh, common system. You draw an isooctyl group and it's attached to OH. So it's like this is a group and the chain is really just the alcohol. So here's your alcohol. We'll do it in uh, red. And then how do you draw an isooctyl group? Well, you draw seven carbons in a row. That's octal is eight, minus one is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's a V as far away from the OH as possible. And that is isooctanol. Make sure you have eight carbons attached to the OH. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. UPAC says find the longest chain, keep the alcohol on the lowest possible number. One, three, five, six, seven. One heptanol. And it's got a methyl group on six. And that's it. And let's get our little eraser going here. I got the one leaking into the L there. There we go. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. Okay. Uh, now more like a test question over here. You know, I, I, I like stereo centers for good reasons. R sec heptal alcohol. And that's another common system. This one could have been called isooctyl alcohol. I'll put that here, AKA, another way of naming alcohols, isooctyl alcohol. So you can name the group as, as a group. The same as getting rid of the ill and putting a n o l so i'm going to draw a sec heptal group attached to the oh here's the oh remember the approach to doing a sec group is to draw one minus the name again so hexol is what i'm drawing six in a row one two three four five six now the branch is not a V at the end, that's an iso branch. A sec branch is where it's attached to the chain. In this case, the chain's really the OH, is where the methyl is. So the carbon attached to the chain, or in this case, OH, is the sec methyl group, the one that makes it sec, sorry. Now it's also, it's also a stereo center, so put an H on there. When we have stereo centers I, and there's an H on the stereo center, I need to see it. Some of you learned the hard way on the last test. Okay, now connect one, two, and three. If it's clockwise, I'm putting the four, which is the H on a dash, and it is. Lucky us. And if it worked out to be the wrong uh, answer or this question was asking for S, Sec heptal S instead of R, I put the number four on a wedge right there. So this is not S sec heptal alcohol, this is R. So I'm going to convert that after the fact to a dash, make sure the dash goes all the way. And an adjacent bond is the wedge. Uh, you can make it this one or this one. 
do not make it this one. If you make it this one, here's what happens on your test. You put a wedge there. Dr. Whitaker writes I dot T dot on your test minus 0 0.5 because that's an illegal tetrahedron. The wedge and the dash must be on adjacent carbon. This is not the first time I have brought this up. All right, that's an adjacent position, bond. There you go. Alternate name. Uh, this one is an eight carbon chain. Oh, did I count that wrong? No, it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know where eight came from. Probably the previous example, huh? And the alcohol is on carbon two. So R, two, you can write heptanol here. I would accept R, heptan, well, UPAC would accept that as well. You can sneak the two right in front of the OL. I have a slight preference for that, but I'm not, I don't grade based on preferences. They're both full credit because it really makes it clear the twos for the OL, the alcohol. Over here, you gotta say, uh, okay, two out of seven is the alcohol. Here you say, here, draw seven on the second one, put an alcohol. To me, just a little more direct. And uh, what do we have here? Oh, we got a lot of stuff, not much, not overwhelming. Uh, unlike my shirt, I'm not making you draw any hexagon. Oh, nice today, huh? So question one, where's carbon one? If you were reading the book, you would have seen that alcohols are the most important group in this course, which is organic chemistry lecture part one. You'll see more important functional groups when you get to functional groups that have more than one bond to oxygen. That is a primary stipulation of the UPAC people. If you have a functional group with more bonds to oxygen, it's a higher priority. But let's stick with this course. Uh, naming things, we only got to one bond to O for alcohols. Carbon one must be the alcohol carbon here. Long, uh, lowest possible number on the longest chain, but we're in a ring here. The chain is the ring. You start wherever you want. It better be carbon one for alcohol. Carbon two should be as close to the next important thing as possible. So you don't put two down here. No, you'll hit the double bond over here earlier if you put it up here. Three, four. And we get the eight over here. So what do we have here? We have a cyclooct. There's a double bond between four and five. So there's an alkene in there. And don't put an E on the end. If I put an E, I'll do it for a second. Uh, that would imply it's the end of the word. It's an English thing. Get rid of the E. The end of the word has to be O-L because that's the most important thing. So tell me the, uh, you can go O-L here. I'm just gonna point it out right now. You did not need to tell me it's on carbon one. As soon as I say cyclo and you say O-L as part of cyclo, I know it's on carbon one. But it is not an error to tell me it's on carbon one. It's redundant. It's redundant. So we've got everything so far except for the group on carbon five. And groups never go away, everybody. So 1.5 out of three so far. What? That seems harsh, half credit for all that work. That's nomenclature for you. We also have a ring size eight with a double bond in it. 
Remember, ring sizes eight or above that include a double bond must also indicate geometry of that double bond. So we'll do the geometry exercise right here and we'll cut it in half. Let's use something light. And we put on a missing H up here, which is priority two up here. Priority one up here is there. Down here, priority one is the vinyl group because it has two more bonds to C going away from the double bond. This has only one more bond to C. The ones are on opposite sides. No, I shouldn't say sides because we only use Z for same side. Uh, opposite sides is E. So four is E. There's also a stereo center in my molecule, making a little room for it. Stereo center, we'll do that one in dark blue. No, we'll do that one in, I don't know, purple. Yeah, I like purple. Stereo center on one is R or S. Let's figure it out. The O is priority one. Oh. If I was in a classroom right now, I would have had a very astute student point, uh, put their hand up before we got this far and say, Dr. Whitaker, you missed another group on carbon one. That student would be right. It's a CHCH2. Sorry to get sidetracked here, but you know, that group up there is a CH double C. Ah, it's a vinyl. My molecule has two vinyls. What can I do? I think I can move this part of the I always get in trouble when I try this. See, I just did right now. I gotta grab just the green stuff. It worked. Okay. There's a vinyl group on one as well. I just read. So one vinyl, five vinyl is also known as one five divinyl. Uh, ancient cult cultural reference. You'll see divinyl show up in nomenclature a little too frequently for random uh, notice. The divinyls were a band. I think they would call it a glam band from the 90s. Uh, I don't even think you should look up their videos, but eh. the divinyls, there you go. Uh, stereo center on one, we're back to that. Uh, stereo center on one has an O for priority one. A C with two bonds to C right here is gonna beat the other ones. So we got a two. Uh, three and four are tricky, but not that tricky. There's how many CH2s before the trip double bond here? Sorry, uh, CH2 once, CH2 twice, C double T. There's three CH2s this way. CH2 once, twice, three times. So that third CH2 is com competing with this C that has two more bonds to C. I hope you're at the point now where you can actually do that stereo center pretty quickly. If not, you got to keep practicing because you want to get there. Three is up here. Four is down here. Getting a little cluttered on my molecule. This is a double switch. Uh, if you don't do a double switch, it's just a guess. There's nothing wrong with a guess. Don't get me wrong. If you're stretched for time, stressed for time, uh, a guess is better than not doing anything. So a four is now on the dash. It's switched with the one. Two and three have to switch. That's called a double switch. You get the original answer. And it is also our very righteous day today. OK, moving along. Saving our file as we go. Take a brief 
brief tea break here. Now we have a bicyclo that's um, pretty reminiscent of the one you're going to see on your exam. Yeah, study guide didn't say you'd have two alcohols in it. I'm saying it now. Now, bridgeheads are both alcohols. So you know one of the bridgeheads has to be number one, carbon regardless, carbon number one. So which of those two is the better carbon number one? Well, I would put the one that gets to this double bond earlier. The question is, is this double bond in the, uh, the biggest bridge, the second biggest bridge, or the smallest bridge? I believe the answer is the first one. It's in the biggest bridge. Bridge sizes are, and I will I get set up. I don't know if the box is going to belong here in the end, but there's going to be three numbers and two dots in here. Bridge sizes are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm pretty sure that's our biggest one. So it goes first. Next largest bridge size goes next. One, two, three, four, five, six. Smallest bridge last that looks like in the middle. It doesn't have to be in the middle. I could have drawn it with the little bridge on the outside and the bigger one in the middle. You'll see it on many examples of mine. One, two, three. Smallest bridge size. You can save yourself a second or two by adding the numbers and adding the two dots for the nomenclature uh, name. 14, 17, 19, it's a non-adec. Now we'll do our numbering in green because we have to position both the alkene and the alcohols with our numbers. So keeping in mind, after you do one, you're gonna go to this bridge first, it's the biggest. So it's either one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I don't like six for a double bond when I can do four for the double bond. So, one is here, four is here, and five it has a group on it, so let's put it there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we have everything we need there. There's a double bond between four and five. And let's just have this as a major part of our screen here. For a uh, deck in and back to red. Alcohols on one and ten. How do you say there's two alcohols? You may have guessed already that it's a diol. Very common in organic chemistry. All right, we have a group on five we have to name. And I think I'll be able to move this name over. Take up less space, makes it bigger on your PDF file. We're going to have a bunch of stuff in front. Stereo centers and alkene geometry in front. Stereo center on one. Alkene geometry on four. Stereo center on 10. I forgot to point out that your other 1.5 out of three is in purple in our previous example. Just saying, sometimes it's good to know where your points are coming from. And this four point question here, yeah, you probably got uh, 1.5 for doing this. Uh, yeah, close enough. It's really going to be 2.25 for whatever we do in here. Uh, you got to name your group. What is it? The group attached to the ring is really just a methyl group. Remember, the thing attached is the end of the group name. So it's a methyl. 
and the methyl has something else on it. What is that group on my methyl? Well, it's a phenyl group right there. And what position is this group on? It's on position five. Little preview here, Not you don't have to learn this now. Uh, phenyl methyl group is a very common group in organic chemistry. In orgo two, I would prefer if you called it a benzyl. 242, I mean, if you wanna do it on your exam, if you see it in 241, it's fine. Uh, this can be called, this whole deal can be called Benzyl. All right. Uh, stereo centers and double bond with geometry, then I'll let you go because I know you're studying. And we'll do our first stereo center in light pink. We have an OH on one. Let's blow this thing up a little bit, huh? There. OH on one. Sure. Uh, three CH2s. CH2, CH2, CH2. Uh, this one hits stuff earlier. These are just CH2s continuing, CH2s continuing. So my two is there. Uh, three, it hits stuff. And in this case, import, really important stuff on the uh, one, two, three, fourth carbon has an O. Can you say the same about the fourth carbon here? One, two, three, four. Does it have anything as heavy as an O? No, this is a loser. Four is over here. Uh, we're getting good practice with double switch. When the four is not on a wedge or a dash, you got to do a double switch. Sorry if I'm sounding like a broken record. That, but uh, yeah, it's good to sound like a broken record because that means you've learned it. Four, two. Uh, then you better switch one and three or else you'll have the wrong answer. We don't like wrong answers in nomenclature. Uh, that's a pretty lame one there. I'll try to sneak it in there. Okay, this one's S. Finally, we have an S stereo center. All right, let's go to double bond geometry in baby blue. Cut the double bond in half. Put the missing H on, if there is one. Missing H is two. Carbon here is one. Uh, which CH2 is going to have higher priority? CH2 that goes to another CH2? Or CH2 that goes to a C that has absolutely no H's and three more bonds to C? I think you know the answer. Ones are on the same side. Z. Moving on to orange for our final stereo center. One for the OH. A whole whack of CH2s. The one that hits an OH on the fourth position is going to beat one, two, three, fourth position here, no OH. One, two, three, fourth position here, no OH. So the twos here, molecule is loaded with numbers, isn't it? Uh, I think all these CH2s are going to lose to the C, the third, uh, wait, one, two, three, four. The fifth position has C with two bonds to C. Two more bonds to C. Three more bonds to C. One, two, three, four, fifth position. One more bond to C, two more bonds to C, three more bonds to C. What about the fifth position here? CH2 once, twice, third, fourth, fifth. Uh -uh. One more bond to C, no more Cs. So we put a three here. And mercifully, the number four is on a wedge this time. No double switch necessary. Connect one, two, and three, you get S. S is wrong. Therefore, R. Somebody's going to say, what's this, 5X? What's that mean? S. S is wrong. 
Therefore, your answer is R. And doesn't matter up there. Here's where I'm grading it. Boom. And that is nomenclature practice. It's got review for the whole semester in there. Nomenclature's nature is to be cumulative, as you know. All right, I hope you found this helpful. Nomenclature is worth 20 points on your next test. Use the review guide. I, I did not diverge from it except for that dial thing right here. And that's not really a divergence. I'm naming alcohols right here. So just trying to keep your surprises to a minimum. Keep studying, everybody. See you around.